Hello there. My name's Alyssa, and welcome to Alyssa's Evening Bakes. I'm making banana bread. Banana bread is one of my all-time favorite things to bake and burr as well as eat. I am doing a banana bread recipe I've never, ever done before. Um, you know, I find that I fail the funniest when I don't prepare. Don't get me wrong, like it's honestly really hard to mess up banana bread. Like unless you douse it in gasoline and set it on fire, it's probably gonna turn out okay. I'm not as scared today as I was for my sugar cookie video. Um, I honestly wasn't scared for the sugar cookies, although I should have been. But I've baked literally like probably a million banana bread con concoctions before. We have, I forget what it was, a one and a half cup flour with a teaspoon of baking soda, teaspoon of salt. I got two tablespoons of butter, which I'm going to melt. This is really fun. Um, I've never done this combination before, but I did two tablespoons sugar and two tablespoons brown sugar. And then I subbed out one of the tablespoons with some honey, which is why it looks like this. I think putting honey in banana bread is really good because it kind of gives it like a molasses, like moist and like caramely flavor to it. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it called for one teaspoon of cinnamon, which means one tablespoon. Next to bananas, cinnamon is like the main ingredient of banana bread. There should be more cinnamon than there should be flour. Anyway. I'm still thinking about doing this as a drinking game. Just take a drink. If I said something stupid, if I said something cool, or if I said something funny, take a drink. I think it just depends on how drunk you want to get from this video. So cinnamon, the thing is cinnamon can dry out your baked goods. So I did add extra vanilla. My secret ingredient is allspice, even if it doesn't call for it. Which does mean, again, that it might dry out the bread a little bit, but I didn't say anything stupid. I kind of said something smart, though. A half teaspoon of salt in here, too. An egg, room temp. Most banana bread recipes, they call for like three bananas, two or three bananas, and I'm like, that's not enough banana for me. So this one called for four bananas, actually, and I was like, what? So I have been setting aside three super ripe bananas, Luckily, I still had bananas, but they weren't very ripe. I read this thing that said if you bake your banana at 350 for 60 minutes, it'll ripen it up. The fuck? Oh my god, this is so disturbing. Take a drink. I did something stupid. <laughs> Originally looked like this. So we'll see how that turns out. I should have been more cautious of artificially ripening something. I mean, just that term sounds terrifying. Boom, melted butter. So I think I'm just gonna do wet ingredients and dry ingredients and then mix that shit up. Bananas, especially when they're this ripe, are uh, really easily like over-processed and the more you mix them and the more they interact with oxygen, a lot of like the good stuff um, comes out, like it breaks down too much and um, they get like too mushy, they lose some of their sweetness, some of their antioxidants, I think. I mean, honestly, this is something I heard from someone like one baker like years ago and I never checked if it was true or not. But I heard it and I was like, yeah, that's right. I trust that in my baker's gut. If you don't know what a baker's gut is, it's this right here. It's proof that I've eaten a lot of baked goods and I know what I'm talking about. One thing that this recipe is not telling me to do is sift my flour. And I think I should sift my flour, even though it is unnecessary. I think it will make my bread a little fluffier. Another thing this recipe is not telling me to do is to mash up my bananas separately so they don't uh, overmix. I'm gonna do that because I know that's what's best for me and my child. I'm gonna name this banana bread Leslie. 
after this. No. Now here's my fucked up banana. It's supposed to ripen more in the oven. You see the difference, right? I'm not crazy. Using reusable paper towels. That's the name of my band, actually. I started a band. That's the name of it. Like that scene from Harry Potter where he's he's in like the death circle and his, his wand is connected with Voldemort. He's like, uh, uh, and and his glasses are shaking on him like, and he's like, uh, uh, and his mom is right next to him. She's like, let go, Harry. You're ready. Let go. That's what making banana bread's like. If you don't flip it, it's free. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so sorry. I almost forgot to pour one out for the homies. In the original recipe, it said the first step was to put the bananas in and then put in like your sugar and your vanilla and stuff. But I'm gonna leave my bananas for the very last step. So I guess then my first step would be egg. I don't know. I'm just gonna do the egg first. Then I'm gonna put my azucar in here. Oh God, it's hardened. I let the honey sit on the sugar too long, like solidified. I'm thinking on my pot, when it? Don't know why I keep doing a British accent, now I do on. I hate watching cooking videos where the person just makes it look like so effortless and easy and simple. It's like, Cooking and baking is rarely simple. Rarely easy, unless you're fucking Gordon Ramsay. Yeah, you know, this is perfect. This is my first try. Whatever. Make it realistic. I want something relatable. So I'm doing this, I'm doing it. I'm doing something relatable. This is a drinking game because drinking games are more fun because we do it together. And isn't that what this is all about? Getting drunk together? I think so. The hands are sticky and I've added in half of my ingredients. I'm a mix. 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 I'm a mess. I'm a mess. Is that what I was trying to tell myself? Oh, wow. If I ever had a restaurant, which I never want to, or like a cafe, which I never want to, but if I did, I would call it the sweet spice and everything would be cinnamon themed. Cause I think cinnamon makes the world go round. Not kindness, not love, cinnamon. Let's get a crazy. Oh my god, I don't know why I love this part. It's like you can still see all of the flour. It's almost like you can still see all of the original ingredients. It hasn't mixed up yet. And it's just really satisfying for some reason. I am halfway through my white claw and I haven't had dinner. Where I get so drunk, I forget to put my cookies in the oven. That's not gonna happen. Just because I forgot to preheat my oven doesn't doesn't mean anything. See, this is why I document things because I don't have any memory. Um, okay, so I've greased and floured my pan, and I'm gonna pop it in here. Also, I don't have that much counter space because I'm not rich. God, fucking classist. Pretty sure this is what I did last time I baked it, and it turned out just beautiful. It's time to take the bread out of the oven. So now I'm gonna take off the tin foil. It did rise, but it's starting to sink because I've taken it out of the oven. It's deflating, it's deflating, it's deflating. I have no time to show you. <sighs> so stressful. Okay, 20 minutes passed, 
I'm gonna now put another 20 minutes on the timer. Doesn't seem to be rising quite how I want it to. I'm realizing I should have left the tin foil on longer. I didn't realize that this bread was not gonna bake as quickly as I thought it would. What do you do when you're trying to watch TV and your eight-year-old neighbor is playing FBI Open Up? Like, I'm here, FBI Open Up! Like at my neighbor's door, and I'm like, what's going on? And then I realize it's the voice of an eight-year-old boy, and I'm like, hmm, it's probably fake, yeah. All right, so I'm currently on my couch enjoying dinner. There was listening peak for you. The banana bread has been in the oven for approximately 45 minutes. It's still not done. It's getting crispy on the edge, but it's still gooey in the middle. So, cover that shit with tin foil again. And I'm putting it in for another five minutes. We'll see how it do. Me running to take my banana bread out of the oven. Millie, wrap it up. Now, Millie, wrap it up. That's one secret. Praise be, what good weather we're having today. I need to test if it is cooked through the center. Honestly, I don't know about this. But it did rise. If you didn't finish your drink, chug it now. If you were not drinking tonight, I hope you had fun watching anyway. And you have more strength than all the people playing ever will. Sorry, all the people playing, playing the drinking game. You have no strength and the people who didn't drink do. So. Did seem to stick. Well, if you don't flip it, it's not free. I mean, what? <gasps> oh, she's <laughs> So I'm back on my couch, cut myself a piece. And after one bite, it's fluffy, semi-sweet. Like, it's not really sweet. It's, it's kind of sweet fluffy, buttery, and you know what? Even though I did triple plus the amount of cinnamon and spice, I still think it could use more.